Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back for another Disney dining review. Today we are headed over to Cape May Cafe. We have actually been here before, but it's been years ago and they've kind of changed the way they do their buffet for dinner since then. Yeah, so it was pre-COVID when we last, 2019 I think, but we've eaten dinner here multiple times. Mm -hmm. It's always been a seafood buffet. They've always had peel and eat shrimp. They've always had uh, crab legs included. Not the case now. You can still get the crab legs, but as an additional $29 on top of the $46 per adult they're gonna pay to eat dinner here. Yeah, so I don't know that we're gonna do that, but. They were never that great anyway, so I'm not paying an extra $90 because it's us and Jennings that are going. What was nice about it before was that it was just such a great value. So even though it maybe wasn't like the best crab legs in the world, it was still just such a great value to have all you could eat crab legs. So anyway, all that to say, this restaurant is still, I feel like maybe a great value. So it is $46 per adult plus tax and gratuity and $27 per child for dinner. If you don't get the crab legs. Right. <laughs> but there's, like, there's- That's where the value is, right? So yeah. like, so if they have peel and eat shrimp still, I think it is a good value because they've got like paella, they've got a carving station, they've got like New England clam chowder. Well, and they have like a, a seafood boil. So oh, with like potatoes and corn and um, clams and mussels and shrimp and all of that. So I think that there's going to be um, a lot of interesting things on the buffet and I'm excited about them. So I'm hoping that the food quality is up to par so that the value is actually there. It's definitely not your traditional like like character buffet dinner. There is a character buffet breakfast here, by the way, but this is not a character buffet. It's priced as such. Uh, $46 is pretty reasonable for the dinner. It is a little bit of a bummer that they don't automatically include those crab legs, but it is, different, right? Yeah. So most like character buffets, they've got like your standard pasta, your standard meat, your standard, like they'll have a carving station and then it's just kind of like the salmon dish and, and so on and so forth. This is different. I mean, seafood, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm opti optimistic about our chances of having a good meal here. Yeah, so um, so like Dan said, there's no characters at dinner. They're, they only have the characters at breakfast, which we've heard great things about, and we will be doing that at some point. But um, I do, I think that it's interesting that there are such a different variety of options on this buffet. So I'm excited to go try it out. I don't know that we're going to do drinks here because unless they surprise us, it looks like it's just the same drinks you can get all over property. So um, I, we kind of find that it's unfair a little bit to judge people on um, on that. So in, if they have yeah. like a specialty cocktail, then we might do that, but, um, but we'll let you yeah. know. If they have a specialty cocktail. Well, I'm excited to try this out and I'm excited to see what Jennings thinks of this. Well, there's only one way to find out. So let's do this. quite the spread up there. There's a ton of food. There's carving stations, there's a cold bar. Oh my, you get a little bucket to put your little, if you order the um, snow crab legs or the peel and eat shrimp, which they do have. So I'm very excited about this. I first got a seafood salad, a garden green salad with some sort of chipotle dressing, which looks great, and peel and eat shrimp along with clam chowder. Yep, and I got all of that to include um, the other like, house salad that they have. I added that house salad and then I grabbed a little bit, bit of the ambrosia salad as well. So kind of trying a little bit of everything, the seafood salad. Mm. That's different, but I like it. All right, shall we try the clam chowder? Oh, that's good. I think I wish I would have left the seasoned oyster crackers off though. Oh no. It's a little too much. I am pleasantly surprised after the first round. That was fantastic. The peeling each shrimp is very, very good. Oh, and now we have wet wipes. 
perfect. Um, yeah, the building of the shrimp is large enough to have like two bites per shrimp. I don't know what that was. Um, and then they cut the back of the shrimp so they're very easily easily peeled. The salad was great. The seafood pasta salad was a little too mayo-y for me, but the clam chowder was phenomenal. And I actually liked the seasoned oyster crackers on top of it. So uh, round one down and good things. <laughs> There's so much food up there. Round two, I had to get two plates. So I've got fried shrimp, fried calamari, fried fish, paella, uh, some sort of like baked salmon with like a, some sort of sauce on there. I got chicken, I got mashed potatoes, I got strip loin, which is on the carving station with horseradish, and then they have steamed clams, steamed shrimp, and steamed mussels. This is a lot of food. And Leslie now wants in. I got quite the feast as well. Um, a little bit of everything. I went back for a second plate so that I wouldn't have to get up again until dessert, so. One of every dessert, other than the other cookie type, and the bread pudding. What do you think of the main course? It was pretty good. Mainly everything. My second plate was delicious as well. I really enjoyed, probably my favorites were the paella, and I really liked the, um, they had like a seasonal tofu dish that I thought was delicious. Um, so I had both of those. Um, I thought the, the the big meat sections were not my favorite part. I really, really love the peeling each shrimp. Like I could have got and got like an entire plate of that. That was delicious. Um, and then the potatoes were really good too. So it, they have some really, really nice options. The fish was tasty. It was maybe just a little on the dry side, but I mean, it was still good and um, I'm ready for dessert. I mainly agree with most of that. Um, Lissy did not get the steamed clams or mussels. They were both really, really salty. Um, so not the best. The strip loin was cooked very, very well, but it was cold. Um, so it was under a heat lamp and it just, I don't know if it was just super small pieces that cooled off by the time I got back to the table, but it was cold. So, uh, but it was cooked well. So hopefully if they heat it up a little bit, it would be good. The fried stuff was fantastic. So fried fish, fried calamari, fried shrimp. Um, and they had like a spicy marinara sauce for the calamari. It was all great, cooked it very, very well. I agree with Leslie, um, the salmon was a little bit dry and the chicken was dry, unfortunately. Uh, mashed potatoes were great, so um, a little bit not as, not as wowing as the first course, but still a pretty solid option. I mean, it's still, you know, I think uh, I think we got one more round to go. We gotta get some dessert here. All of the desserts back there are pretty standard, except for the apple bread pudding with vanilla cream sauce. That was fantastic. Could have stand to be a little bit warmer, but very, very good. That's the winner here. Apparently, sometimes it is a banana, sometimes it is apple. So I'm really glad that we got apple, though. I don't think I've ever had an apple bread pudding before, and it was fantastic. All right, well, this was a pretty easy one. It's a buffet. We're done. We're full. I feel like we got our $46 worth, so we're going to finish this up at home. All right, we are back, and the kitty missed us. All right, we're going to get into this, but first, if you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We would love to help you out. We plan Disney destinations, universal cruise lines, and all-inclusive resorts. If we look a little worse for wear, <laughs> it is because we went to Hollywood Studios in the ensuing hours after our reservation. We stayed there almost three hours and it rained on us. We stood in lines and didn't get to ride anything. And then we <laughs> left. It was fun though. But that's okay. So the whole reason we went was to visit with family. So that is why that we were we there. And we visited, standing in the line. It was great, but my hair is now poofy. Side note, we got to check out the new Indiana Jones oh, themed yeah. lounge over between um, uh, it's like right next to the Stunt Spectacular, but before kind you get over left. to um, the uh, 50s Primetime Cafe, yeah. so uh, it was great. It was um, cute. We got a couple drinks there. Actually, I mean, most of these restaurants should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> I got an old fashioned there. Well, it a, was called a weathered fedora. They put it in a plastic cup. It's like the name of it. <laughs> it was a cute name. But they put it in a plastic cup with one large ice cube. Yeah. In a theme park. <laughs> like, why can't restaurants figure this out? Anyway. Way to go, Indiana. Way to go, Hollywood Studios and Indy. Okay, I digress. <laughs> All right, so we'll get through this. I mean, I feel like it'll be a pretty easy one to talk through. As far as ambiance and theming goes, you know, I mean, it was fine. Like, we, we got there pretty early. <laughs> 
great salesmanship. Sorry. Right there. <laughs> uh, we got there pretty early. So, uh, and they spaced the tables out where they sat people, which was very nice. So you nice. weren't just like kind of right on top of people. They did eventually seat somebody like right behind us, but even sitting right behind us, like it was still fine. So, <laughs> I mean, as, as far as like ambiance goes, like it didn't, um, I mean, I'm sure if the restaurant got completely full and there was a lot of activity, it might be a little bit louder, but it was really pretty lovely. And I liked the um, buffet area, how it was in like a circle. Or a square. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we gave ambiance and theming a three and a half. We actually gave ambiance a three and a half. We're gonna talk about theme, theming separately because we weren't doing drinks because the it, drink yeah, the they didn't have any else. specialty ones. So uh, theming, we also gave three and a half. Just you know, um, so they. But but I I do think it, it deserves to be talked about kind of separately because it is themed to the hotel, which I love. Like not all hotel restaurants are themed to like take that yeah. theming because it's right off the lobby and it is themed like a New England restaurant, right? So you've got like kind of Boston cream pie dessert and New England clam chowder appetizer and lots of like seafoody dishes and steamed mussels and steamed clams yeah. and uh, that kind of stuff. And it was just- Felt very beachy. Very, it was, it's well themed. It's not like over the top. It's not as good as like, you know, some of like Animal Kingdom Lodge restaurants or anything like that, but it is, for what it is, a lobby restaurant, well themed. We gave it a three and a half as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, service. Um, our service was pretty average, you know. I mean, like she did a great job. She was very pleasant. Um, she told us a couple jokes. She, uh, she, you know, she cleared some cleared, plates. Cleared the plates as the restaurant got busier. We saw her less, so it took a little longer at the end of the the evening to like get our check and that kind of thing. But I mean, she was still fine. She was lovely. So we just gave we gave her a three. Um, yeah, she's straight up. I, I think she started off a little bit higher than a three, but maybe ended up a little bit lower than a three and kind of just like averaged yeah. out about, about average. But I mean, again, like how much can you really do as a waiter or waitress in a buffet? Like that's really all they have. Well, we've had some really excellent some really ones. good ones. So. But I mean, she did the, she did her job. She cleared some plates and she was going to bring us water, but we were, by the time we got down to the bottom of our glasses, we were done. So we didn't need any more. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, three, let's talk food. Okay. So I feel like the value here is pretty good. I'm a little bit miffed that they took away the crab legs. I don't remember what it used to cost, but I'm pretty sure it didn't go down in price. If it did, not I much. I don't think so. Um, so I feel like they sucked a lot of value out of this thing, but the food was above average on the whole. Like there was a couple yeah. things I didn't quite care for. The steamed clams were super salty, did not like those, but most everything was either fine or really good. Uh, standouts for me, clam chowder was really good. The peel and eat shrimp was excellent. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the apple bread pudding oh, for dessert was fantastic. was fantastic. And then the fried seafood was great. So there was fried fish, fried calamari, and fried uh, shrimp on the buffet, all super good. And fried clam strips. I didn't have those, were those good? They were good, I yeah. had them. What would you like? Um, so I liked, my favorites were the peel and eat shrimp and the clam chowder. And then I also liked the mashed potatoes, which I know sounds weird, but they just, they were well prepared. I, I enjoyed them. And then they had like a vegetarian, like a tofu. Uh, it was a special for that night dish. Um, Cause I literally got a scoop of everything except for the clams and the mussels. But, um, and it was delicious. Like I really enjoyed that. So it had some great flavor. It was almost kind of like a, uh, a really extra, uh, they put some sauce on it, uh, like a jambalaya with tofu. But then the, jam or the not jambalaya, um, paella. And then they had a paella as well, which I also liked. It was pretty good. I could have dealt with a little more seasoning in the paella, but yeah. it was cooked well. Everything was cooked very well in See, there. See if you so. took the seasoning from a tofu dish, <laughs> put it in the paella. Maybe. Would have been perfect. Um, so all in all, a little bit above average, but not like blow you away. You have to go here, anything like that. So we gave it a three and a half. Yes. All that added up and divided out makes it a 3.375. I think the location here is tough for me. I think the value is there for what it is being on Disney property. I wouldn't pay $46 for this buffet. Like 
in Oklahoma, but on Disney property in a deluxe resort, I can see it. The problem is that you walk out the back of this hotel and take a left and you're inside Epcot. You take a right and there's a whole lot better restaurants in like Shoeless Steakhouse. Honestly, yeah. I'd probably rather have uh, Beaches and Cream. Amare is right there. Yeah. Trattoria Al Forno is much, much better. So it's tough. Like it, it is it, tough. I, it's not it's not horrible it's above average but i don't know with all the choices right there so many great for 46 dollars a person i would rather go into epcot and eat almost anything in there than this so that's fair i mean it's a solid choice if you're staying there and you don't have a park reservation for that day but there's a lot of other options around that area that I think I would go for as well. So I'm excited to do breakfast here. I yes, think a I've character heard breakfast. Great things about the breakfast. With that buffet, I think they could do it really, really well. I think that yeah. may be a winner here. I think yeah. a character breakfast in Cape May Cafe, if you're especially if you're staying on the boardwalk and going to Epcot that day or Hollywood Studios, like jump on that skyliner and head it over there. Yeah. I think that's a winner. Uh, but we don't know yet because we haven't done breakfast, but we will. We will soon. Yes. Yeah, it was a nice evening and I think, a, you know, a solid restaurant. So there you go. Yeah. So if you're liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. We will see you on the next video.